Good evening, everyone. This is Spook, and, and we're back. After a literal disaster, we're back. <clears throat> so, I've undoubtedly made it clear before that I live in the state of Iowa, and, uh... <laughs> oh, I, I forgot I grabbed this. Okay, let's not get too silly today. Um, there's my plus ten heavy axe. Good. Um, let's get some kind of armor on. We'll just go Fallen Knight. Should be fine. Alright, so, yeah, Monday... Rather, a week ago Monday, we had a windstorm the likes of which I've never seen before here. Um, bad enough that it has its own name, and it's comparable to like a force, a category one or two hurricane. And I'm not an expert, but that's bad. Um, and I was without power for four days, and it actually got to the point where I just left town. <laughs> um... I said, you know what? It's would be a great time to visit my family. So, I... I went to go see them. I basically hopped a plane a week ago. And uh, that's why I was not here. Because there was no power here, and then I wasn't here. <clears throat> so, that was fun. Great Belfry. Oh, that's right. I was checking out the thing. Okay. Let's go back to the Grand Archives. But uh, when I finally came back on Tuesday, we had power back, but internet has been spotty. Um, I've had problems with it in the morning, usually between 9 or 10 and noon. And then afternoon, it seems to work fine. Like, I'll go on my lunch at 1, and I'm able to watch Hulu right through the hour. <laughs> so, it's like, it seems to just sort itself out then. But uh, there's... A good period of time where it's like, man, everything sucks. Um, it's also very difficult to take a phone call when you don't know when your internet's going to just drop. Hey, little guy. But yeah, I, was, I got to see my, uh, my mom and dad, my sisters, and a friend of mine for the first time in like four years. I met some cats who uh, wanted nothing to do with me. <laughs> my my friend Rocco, he's got this pair of black cats um, that I guess they see people come in and they're done. They just run the heck out of there and I'm someone new so they're just like, yeah, we, we want no part of this. So that's fine. Um, and my dad's cats... Um, like one... One's just a little brat and doesn't let people pet him unless he's curled up in a high spot somewhere or something like that. And the other's usually just hanging out somewhere else. He's like, eh, whatever. It's interesting, though. Black cats are consistently the softest cats I ever see. And they are also the least likely to be around somebody because they are scared shitless of everyone. <laughs> so, it's kind of a thing, but... You know, it was a nice break from... Like, you know, four days without power, you can't do anything. It's like, you can read a book, and then you can read another one, and eventually you can go, I need to do something that is not this now. <laughs> and, um... There's only so much you can do. And I just got just got stir crazy and then Friday after well Friday morning my sister cajoled me into oh this again um she talked me into just flying up to my hometown I even offered to pay at one point well you know I've, I've got the cash it's fine so yeah so uh, I saw some movies with my dad, which I, always, I mean, I, I like being able to have that little cultural exchange with some friends and family. Like, uh, we saw... Oh, jeez. 
Like we watched uh, Fury Road, which I positively love and my dad seemed to get the kick out of. And then we we also saw Freaks, which he had seen before. Um, it's a 1932 film directed by Todd Browning. It is apparently infamous for um, for some of its content, i.e., actual circus freaks, and the um, and what they do to somebody who tries to screw them over. And in fact, this there's some footage that was removed from the movie because it was deemed too disturbing. I'm like, you guys cut up a woman's arms and legs and turned her into a human duck. <laughs> it's off screen, but that's still pretty distressing. It's like, God, what did they actually remove? I'm sure, I'm sure somebody has a description of the footage that exists. Oh, he big. Yeah, 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 crystal nonsense. Crunchy, crunchy back armor. Ooh, Lothric Knight Greatsword. That just sounds like it's badass. Oh. Really? So I don't remember the way up. Um, and I don't think it's this courtyard. Oh, actually, I think it might be. There's a trio of jerks around here somewhere that just want to ruin my day. And if at all possible, I want to make it so that I only fight one of them at a time. Because I only believe in a fair fight when it benefits me. I just realized I have to go back and edit some of my episode titles. Because uh, I wrote down that the last time I played it was four sessions within the Grand Archives. And I forgot about my visitation to the peak. You there, with the face. Oh, he's trying some ranged attacks. That's cool. Oh, hell. All three of them? That's... That's really not what I was hoping to do. Ouch! No, 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 no. Oh, this is... This is all kinds of bad news. You've got a dexterity guy with some kind of dual weapon. You've got this uh, hunk of beef here with a battle axe of some kind. Ouch. Oh. Well, at least I managed to punish that attack. Shame he chugged. Hi! No! Okay, if you're gonna try and repost with a spell, um, more power to you, you gimp. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna just dash through here and see if I can maybe find a bonfire. Or a shortcut I haven't reached before. Hello. When in doubt, be an absolute friggin' coward. Oh, here we are. This takes us right back to the beginning.
Okay. Alright, hopsy daisy. Back to the top. And right past the jerk brigade. I'm sure someone will point out, like, hey, those guys have really good drops. You should go back and fight them. But, uh, gonna have to. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah, he's just a wizard. I can. I can mess this stuff up. Hi, I resist that. Oh, balls. Just had to bring his friends in. Ooh. Oh, what? I just do not hit that hard. Oh, all three of them now? Truly, this is the Itchy Buckle Trilogy. And this man is the itchiest. What? Okay, that was a nice little two for one. Okay, dual weapon. Some nifty shield. Okay, wizard boy. Shice. Okay, crystal staff. I do not have any use for that, but I'm glad they're dead. Ooh. Soul Crestfallen Knight, that's worth a little bit. God, this looks like... It looks like it was meant to be an observatory. Pretty sure something bad's gonna happen up here. Be wary of up. I guess they don't like Pixar films. Uh oh. Um. Okay. Fine pillars of light. Neat. Absolutely no use for it. But hey. Oh! Even though they're not quite as narrow, these rafters make me just as nervous as the, uh, the ones in the Norlando. It's enough out of you, mister. Hey, solid ground. Oh, what have we here? Normal chests. Divine Blessing, whatever. And Twink Tight Knight. Oh, he big. Hmm. They must not have a path over here. 
No complaints. So what's this? Oh wait, I've been in here. Well, let's see if there's any other um, interesting places up on the rafters. Oh. No, I can't quite drop murder that guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing anywhere to go that I haven't already been. Um, and there's someone with their shitty dog. Like, it's not enough that people have stupid children. Uh, that are yelling and screaming in the hallway all the time? They gotta add a dog to it. Oh. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, it's this place. Oh my pants, I hope I have purgings. Well. <clears throat> God, those are so much threatening when your head isn't covered in wax. Okay, let, let's just try to proceed to some kind of boss for this area. Which I think is the Twin Princes. Which, uh, I think they're gonna work me. I honestly don't remember how to kill them. Jeez, I still have 60,000 souls on the ground, though. Well, those jerks didn't respawn, so that's something. Alright, let's see if I can find that, those souls. Because um, if I can not lose 60 grand, you know, I should at least try. Oh boy. Alright, I think I was... Yeah, I went up into the rafters... Oops. So, you know, one thing I did with Resident Evil 7 was I took random screenshots in the game and used those uh, for my title cards, and I kind of wish I did that more often, because I liked how it looked. Oh, it's down here, then up. Okay. Okay. There's... Oh, that just takes me down to that courtyard. Okay, nothing's too special. So these guys up top, I think we're going to start a fight. Not that I'm interested. There's a way in here. Yep. There we go. Okay. It was down here. And then there's a spot. Yeah, I can go over here and fall down onto this rafter.
Now I did almost make it out, which unfortunately means my um, souls are probably as deep in there as you can get. So let's see. And it was through the window over here. Was it this way? Yep. Okay, let's get the anti-curse gear on. Let's see. Curse 33. 40, yes. Forty-two. Oh! Seventy-four. Even better. Okay. On some level, I wish you could save types of equipment. So you go back and go, oh hey, you know, you know it would be awesome right here. You know, so it, you know, have dedicated anti-curse gear and anti-magic gear, but I wonder if that kind of convenience would just be ill-placed in a Dark Souls game. Oh, jeez, I only have a couple of them. Well. Oh, that was much easier. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, to get back up, I should probably just use my uh, coiled thingy. There we go. See, I have a plan. Do I want to fight those big ugly things with the huge armor and the wings? And It's a tough call. Oh, wait, I gotta go up here. Right. Oh, is there a sunbro here? Hey, 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 hey. Bort! I always wanted a personalized boat uh, pen. Come on, Sunbro. Praise it. we're gonna dash through the mobs or if he's gonna show us what a badass he is by murdering all of them because this is a bit of a melee there's the castle
Nicely done, sir. Smack him up. Ooh. Okay, he's scary. Okay, I'm pointing to someone who knows what they're doing, apparently. But at least they can fake it well enough. Not dead. Oh, this guy's uh, definitely an asset. Is there a... Nope, there's not a thing there. Okay. Alright, looks like I gotta push the door open and hope for the best. Seen here. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. <laughs> the fire linking curse, the legacy of Lords. Let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Hmm. One down. Although I think the, he comes back. I think. It's been kind of a while. Oh, dear brother. <laughs> I'm on my way. My brother. Unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would. For 
that is our curse. Something a little chilling about that. Two of them. Interesting. How's that make their hitboxes work? Did not know that was an attack. Mark my words as one. You remain among the first. Well. Okay, Bort, you really carried my ass through there. I salute you, friend. I think that's it. That's the last Lord Soul. <laughs>